This week, I will be sharing with you five amazing free Blender add-ons that I use rather consistently with my projects. Number one, Node Wrangler. This one is less of a recommendation and more of a must-have add-on. 99.9% .9 of the 3D projects you will be working with will require shadings and materials and enabling the Node Wrangler add-on will equip you with shortcuts that will save you a lot of time. Here are the main shortcuts you'll be using. Control plus T. This shortcut will append a texture coordinate and mapping nodes to your textures, whether it's noise, Voronoi, image texture, whatever, as long as the nodes have that yellow orangey header. Whenever you add a texture to an object's material, you need it to control it somehow, and the texture coordinate and mapping nodes do exactly that. First, with the texture coordinate, you control how will the texture's coordinates be applied. The ones that I most often used are the generated, object, and UV sockets. Then the mapping node controls the different transform channels of the texture such as transform, rotation, and scale on each different axis. Control Shift Left Mouse Button This shortcut allows you to isolate whichever node you click on so you can view it separately. This allows you to adjust a node's settings without being distracted by all other active nodes. Shift plus P Shift plus P allows you to group all selected nodes into a frame for them to reside in. This allows you to organize your shading nodes better. Shift plus Right Mouse Button Drag this shortcut allows you to add node points between connecting links. This allows you to organize your quote unquote node noodles when you end up with complicated node setups. Control plus right mouse button drag. This shortcut allows you to cut the links between connected nodes. Simply drag over a node noodle with the shortcut activated to cut the links. Alt plus right mouse button drag. This shortcut allows you to connect two separate nodes by hovering your cursor next to them without being too precise. But there is a problem. Do you see it? Let me show it to you with the next shortcut. Shift plus Alt plus right mouse button drag. This shortcut does the exact same as the last one, but this time, you get to choose which socket you want to link your nodes in. So you'll select your From node socket and then the To node socket. Shift plus W. Last but not least, Shift plus W allows you to summon a menu which contains all shortcuts added by the Node Wrangler add-on. So you don't have to memorize them all at first and you can find them all in one little neat location. Number two, the Blender Kit add-on. The Blender Kit add-on is a great resource to have installed in Blender. It needs an internet connection though to function because it will fetch different assets for you online. It ranges from objects, to materials, to scenes, to HDRIs, and even sculpting brushes. Not all assets are free though, but you can click on the filter icon and select free first. To be honest with you though, there are so many free assets, it's not much of a problem. An add-on like Blender Kit allows you to build your projects faster, rather than having to build everything from scratch. You need a tree? Download it from the Blender Kit add-on. You need a sci-fi paneling material? Download it from the Blender Kit add-on. You need a sunny exterior HDRI? You guessed it, download it from the Blender Kit add-on. Number three, Rigify. Now, if you ask me, Rigify is an excellent add-on for Blender. It allows you to build custom and basic rigs for your characters so you can quickly get to animation. The only downside is that there is a bit of a learning curve since it isn't the most intuitive add-on to use. There is some good news though. Toshi from CG Dive has done an extensive tutorial series on Rigify for free on YouTube. Link will be in the description. With Rigify, you can build basic rigs for humanoid characters. You can also build complicated rigs with facial controls. Oh, and you can also choose rigs made for animals like birds, cats, horses, sharks, and wolves. You can also custom build a rig if you have a weird or abnormal character. Though I'll let Toshi from CG Dive show you how to do it. Number four, add curve extra objects. When adding curves in Blender, you have a few options to choose from by default. However, if you enable the add curve extra objects add-on, you add a bunch of curve object presets to choose from. Just choose which one to add and adjust its settings in a menu that pops up when you add them. Number five, add mesh ANT landscape. This add-on allows you to add landscape meshes based on lakes, mountains, canyons, etc. in the simple click of a button. When you add a landscape mesh to the scene, a menu pops up and from there you can choose which kind of landscape you would like to add. This can save you a lot of time when wanting to create landscape objects. And these are some of the most helpful add-ons to have added in Blender. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I'll get to them as fast as I can. Peace.